What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. I almost said Leaf Green right there. Anywho, this is the next Pokemon we're going to be capturing and trying to have on our team for, you know, a brief amount of time. Mainly because, you know, I kind of talked myself into it. Numal is a pretty good Pokemon in my opinion. Uh, pretty much because it's both a fire and ground type Pokemon. And, uh, well... I kind of want to try it since I don't really have a ground type nor a fire type Pokemon. It probably, it probably will work well when we get into uh, into the next gym battle right here. But like I said before, guys, not all my Pokemon are permanent, so uh, yeah. So let's go and get this Pokemon right here. You know what? I'm gonna use a repeat ball, not because I captured one, but because you know I kind of want to be a little bit different with my Pokeballs, especially with the ones that are gonna be on my team. There's one, there is two, there is three, what's up? We got Numo. That's right. Look at that, Numo's all pretty awesome and everything. So, more experience points for all of us, and uh, Numo's data will be added, and of course, here it is, Numo. The numb Pokemon, it actually, look, it's a camel eruption or whatever. Numo is extremely dull-witted, it doesn't even know it is being hit. However, it can't stand hunger for even a second. This Pokemon's body is seething cauldron of boiling magma. Okay, so since it's that, I figured out a good nickname for it. Since it's like, it's pretty much like a volcano. I'm going to give it a nickname. I'm going to give it a very, very cool nickname. It's going to be called Vesuvius. Let me just see if I, if I spelled it correctly. Hold on. Hold on just a sec. Yes, I did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. No. No, I didn't. Alright, hold on. Hold on! I'm looking at my stuff right here. Vesuvius. There you go. So, welcome to the team, Vesuvius. Alrighty, guys. So, we captured our newest Pokemon right here, Vesuvius, the Numel. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at its stats right here. As you can see, it is both a fire and ground type Pokemon. It's not the very best defenseman. Not at all, but its attacks are through the roof right there. Uh, very, very physical Pokemon, both in physical and special. Not very fast at all. But it does it does have the uh, ability Simple, which is the Pokemon is prone to wild stat changes. The fuck? I don't even know what that means. So, the attacks it does have, you guys can't see it, but it has Ember, Focus Energy, Magnitude, and Flame Burst. So we got some pretty good moves right there. And, uh, yeah, we will be using them, uh, for, you know, our uh, better portion of this adventure right here. I, I, w I wouldn't count on, like, a whole lot of it, but, you know, I like to actually use different kinds of Pokemon. Now, many of you guys are probably thinking I was going to be using, uh, Raphael again. I kind of chose against it, even though I loved using them. I kind of want to try something else. I'm not much of an amateur, but I'm going to take it easy just because you're a kid. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm trying not to use the same Pokemon that I've used in the in Pokemon Emerald but they are in my uh, in my PC and I will be evolving them when I'm training these Pokemon and all that stuff so you know I'm trying I'm trying especially since we're playing Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby you're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, shots to actually get this whole uh, like get the Pokemon you want and all that stuff so look at that look at that oh yeah and it's not that strong and here it comes with its roar attack so luckily for us we do have stronger Pokemon, one being Raiden. Okay, Raiden, let's get this. Thunderfang. Right here. Now, Mighty Anna, you looking all, 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 all mean and everything. Be honest with you, I actually like Mighty Anna. The only problem is that I, w I really wish they would have like done a little bit more with it, especially in Pokemon Ruby and, uh, and, and Sapphire. It just, you know, for me, it just became the Radita of the Dark-type Pokemon in the beginning. And look look what it is. It, like, it evolves early, and it doesn't really learn that, that much good moves, or it's just not that strong. Really annoyed the crap out of me. So there you go. Vesuvius getting its points, and Sage grows to level 31. Yeah, we're really close to level 40. It, like, it, it takes a little bit of time to actually get to level 40 right here. So let's go on and grab ourselves some berries right here. And bam, we found ourselves three person berries. And uh, well, let's see, let's grab this. Wait, you can't get you can't grab them from the side right here. So here we go with some raspberries. And uh, let's see, 
go with this one. And I see that there's a Pokemon wanting to be captured and all that stuff. Let's see. What kind of Pokemon are we looking at? I'm kick oh, it's a, it's a Pokemon I've already captured. It's nothing too rare. It really isn't nothing too rare. I'm just going to I'm just going to take a look at it right now. And yeah, it has Oblivious. So that's a that's it's another stat line that it, it has an effect. Now, once you get over here, you're going to be finding somebody. Now, there's two ways going into the desert or you can go up here and battle a you can battle a, a what you call a naze trainer. Show me how much you tough into your Pokémon. Now, okay, I'll show you. So here we go. You are challenged by Ace Trainer Wilton, and he is coming out with an Electrike. Look at his Pokemon right here. And uh, here we go with Mount Vesuvius. Now, I named this Pokemon after the volcano that pretty much obliviate, like a, a like obliviate or obliterated uh, Italy. If you guys don't know, there was a yeah volcano down in Italy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Destroyed the whole thing. Nearly wrecked everybody who lived in there. And, uh, yeah, that's the legend that goes, uh, that, that, it, that is Mount Vesuvius. And look at that, Vesuvius grows to level 16 so easily. Oh my god, I think we're gonna, we're gonna, get, we're gonna make a lot of music right here. And look at that, Hydra number 2 grows to level whatever, 27. And here he comes out with a Bagon. Now, oh, I'm jealous. So, I'm gonna go straight to the, uh, Fairy-type Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go, Gaia. Let's do this, Gaia. So here he comes out with Bagon. And, uh, well, I'm going to be tracing that whole thing. And it does have Rockhead. So any kind of recoil will not work. So let's go. Draining vo or Disarming Voice right here. Look at that. Disarming Voice does its thing. Alrighty. And, uh, well. Let's see. It's going to be coming out with a Makuhita. So let's go ahead and switch out our... Or actually, no switching out our Pokemon. We do have the Pokemon for this job. Now, quick, quick, quick thing. You guys are probably wondering, why did I take out Toxic Batman and Yokozuna? It's pretty simple, guys. Uh, Yokozuna already served its purpose. It was it was just there to defeat... Uh, uh, what, what was his face? Uh, uh, Watson's team and all that stuff. I get that there are probably other teams that I could, I could uh, actually beat with Yokozuna, but... It was just there for the time being. Don't worry, guys. You will see Yokozuna pretty soon. It, you know, I'm going to be using him here and there just because, you know, it's a very, very useful Pokemon. It's a tank of a Pokemon, by the way. And uh, Toxic Batman for obvious reasons because it, it already evolved into its final form pretty quickly. And I'm also thinking of getting another Pokemon another with flying capabilities and all that stuff, too. Uh, mind you that in this game, you don't really need the, 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 the HM Fly to actually get around. There's going to be a little bit of a something right here that actually takes care of that situation. So what I'm going to do right now is heal my Pokemon. And give it a little bit of a Sodi Pop right here. And I'm going to give this guy a Sodi Pop right here too. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take a look at what we got inside. And look at this. We're looking at this guy, and he's like, hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I smell it. I can smell it right here. The scent of adventure. This is definitely one. It's got to be a secret spot. There'll be one, in, or there'll be enough space here to build a crazy super place. Or my name is not Aron. Aron? Aaron? Is that how you, wait, is this a different way of saying Aaron? Or I don't, I don't even know. Comment down below, guys. Don't really know. I'm chopping up names right here. And, uh, well... Look at this guy, homie right here, looking like a true adventurer from, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I don't even remember what movie, I, I'm trying to figure it out, Indiana Jones, my bad. Yo, my young Pokemon trainer, what do you, uh, what do I, or what can I do for you? Hmm, huh, why, you, you mean you didn't ask for anything? Bet your heart did. Now, now, no need to be shy, after all, we managed to meet. My name is Arun, or Arun, or whatever, Patur, there. You know, a born and 25 years old, spent the last uh, the last 11 years trying to find myself, just a vagabond in search of dreams. I'm wandering uh, around uh, Hoenn, trying to find a place uh, where I can uh, where I really belong. That's right, a super secret place or base. You don't know what uh, you don't know about uh, the secret bases. What kind of life is that? Too sad, little bro. Time for a little lecture uh, from Uncle Arun. <laughs> Let's start with what a secret base is, which is an which is an adventure. 
Romance. Awesome. For real, it's the best place y y ever to chill you or to chill you, your pals that you let hang out. Wow. Since you've got this chance, you ought to learn how to make one. Take this. And we get ourselves the TM94 secret power, which, you know, it, you know, it will actually help us make secret bases. Secret power can help you find entrances to hidden places. These entrances, they're full of adventure, all right? That's why I like to throw some spice in the, in there and call them secret spots. And he's going to be instructing us right here. Like this, see? This right here is a secret spot. Doesn't it look like to, you can just climb up right, right up this tree? This is exactly the kind of place to bust out a secret power. And uh, look at that. Oh yeah, I never get tired of that. And that's the and that's all there is finding the secret spots and creating the entrance to a secret base. This move is crucial to having a secret base. Don't forget now. And uh, we're gonna be taking a nice look at secret bases right here. And look at that. It, it's pretty homely. It's pretty big. And uh, hmm, not bad. Not a bad layout. See, behind each secret spot, you'll find space like this. They come in all uh, kinds of uh, shapes and sizes. So basically, whenever you find a secret spot, you ought to at least check it out with secret power. Just think, someday, this uh, this place could be somebody's secret base, all decorated and filled with the goods and, and friends. I'd really love to see, that, see it like that. And he's just nodding around, and he's going to be like, Wait a sec, but who in the world are you? <laughs> All right, Draven. Sorry about that. I just got I just got in such a roll. So then, Draven, how about I give you one more tip? When you feel happy about something, you ought to express the feeling. Put it into words. I'll cheer everybody, or it'll, it'll cheer everybody up. So how about it? Or how about you tell me? Huh? Come on, tell Uncle Arang what you say when you are totally thrilled. Oh damn. Okay, so this is very simple. Uh. One thing's for sure, guys. This is not going to be my secret, like my my real secret base. Eventually, when I you know get through this whole adventure right here, I'm going to find a secret base, and it's going to be up to you guys to find it. So once you guys actually do find the secret base of mine, comment down below and all that stuff. You guys already know that my secret code's right there on the below uh, on the the description. So the message that I will be leaving here is uh, it's pretty simple. Pretty god dang simple. Bring it. I know many of you guys have been wanting to battle me and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, play a dummy of me and all that stuff. So, here it is. I'm going to throw three exclamation points right there. And, bam! I'm just going to put, bring it. <laughs> Whistle. Bring it! That's good. Now, know why I asked you that. It's, isn't it obvious? It's because I already see that there's a plenty in your future to feel uh, happy about. That's how. That's just how we roll in the secret base life. Every day is full of uh, happy adventures. Oh yeah. And he's like, hmm. Now I could go uh, go on ahead and make a secret base right here, but I get the feeling that this layout could be uh, even better for you, little bro. Guess I'm going to leave you this uh, this spot for you. And. Uh, Look at that. We're getting, we're constructing our secret base. This will be your secret base from now on, little pal. It's yours, so decorate it, destroy it, do whatever you want. Whatever floats your boat, right? Kind of, I guess. Oh yeah, decorating. See any decorations you uh you get or you get will be sent to the PC in your secret base automatically. Place them around, liven the place up a bit. And there's a laptop right there and he's going to be like, "Well, that there's a PC, that's where you'll find your decorations. Not that you probably need have much, right? Here, I'll give you these to get you started. And yes, we are gonna get some decorations from this guy, and he's gonna well, it's gonna be on the PC. All right, one last thing. You can do more than just make your own secret base. You can visit other uh, people's secret bases for a bit, uh, for a bit of fun. If you find a base that belongs to someone else, check it out. And there's a real, and here's a real point. When you checked out someone's base, collect the flag you find next to the PC. <laughs> Something good might come of it. And then actually, he's like, "Looks like it's about time for me to hit the road in search of my perfect base." Goodbye for now, but hopefully, I'll see you again, Draven. If you need me for anything, try dropping in uh, the secret, the secret base guild in Fortree. 
Alrighty. Okay. So for right now, guys, this is going to be our secret base. Uh, I will be switching it from time to time. Uh, right now, I don't have the money for, like, I don't have a lot of money just to get this whole thing started but if you guys wish to find me on the secret base like I said uh, my message is down below if you guys pass as pass me as a passerby and then uh, you know you'll see my place a little bit decorated and all that crud um, well not much to yeah there's not much that we have right here we have a we have a desk right here and then uh, let's see chair we got one chair it's not the best looking chair but we got a chair right here and then after that let's see mats we're gonna use that now back when I was really into this game right here I yeah I, I was so into this whole secret base kind of thing guys and trust me there's a there was a lot of people with like a lot of creative stuff for their secret base so yeah that right there yeah like for me it was a <laughs> it, it was actually fun just trying to find these secret bases and all that stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put my bed right there, and then... Uh, let's see... Portrait wall. And we'll put it right here. And uh, let's see... Dolls. Yes, we got three dolls from that guy back in... Uh, I can't remember what place... Oh yeah, Mauville. I'm gonna put the Trico right here. And remember, there is a limitation uh, to how many how many put uh, how many stuff you can actually put into the base. You actually have a limitation of, I guess, what was it, 20? Yeah, you got 20, 20 places to be. So let's see. Well, let's just put this right here, and let's not leave out our good old buddy Mudkip. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, well, where should we put him right here? Actually, we should put him right here. I don't want to put him somewhere close. Actually, you know what? We're going to put him right here. He's going to be guarding the door and all that stuff. So that is it. And then you can also move yourself right here too. Some people are just like super creative with where they, they, they leave themselves. Okay, so we're done with that. And uh, I don't want to do anything else except that. Actually, hold on just a sec. Let's see. Manage QR patterns. Find a better, share a secret base. Secret base. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's been generated. So if you guys want to look uh, look for me and all that stuff, go ahead and find me right there. Go ahead, screenshot it, do whatever. And uh, you'll easily find me for a secret base. So I'm gonna leave it there for another five seconds. Two, three, four. Five. There we go. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And, uh, well, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that we can do right here. Except just move on right now. So, for the time being, this will be our secret base since we just move it on forward. And I think after getting the secret base uh, or secret uh, move, you will be able to find people's secret bases afterwards. Um, let's see. I'm looking at this whole thing right here. So, we found my secret bases, but there's not... Not so many other people right now because we're just starting the game up and then, you know, I haven't had a lot of passerby. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to be battling a few other trainers, maybe one or two more trainers. Hold on, let me see if this wants... Okay, there we go. She's running around. Are you Pokemon look uh, as well? Yes. I don't even know. So here we go. Another Pokemon battle and we're going to be taking on Fairy uh, fairy Tail Girl, Cece, and she will be coming out with her Spoink right here. I love saying that. Spoink. And there we go. Okay, let's go with Mount Vesuvius right here and go in with the Flame Burst. And this Pokemon right here is using a Psybeam on oh, Fred. And uh, that really takes me, uh, that really takes a lot out of me. So there we go. Not much. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to switch this Pokemon right out. So let's go right ahead to Hydra number two. Take care of business right now. Okay. Bring it out. Hydra number two, shiny Pokemon extraordinaire. Look at that. Intimidating everybody, you can see. And uh, here comes that Psybeam attack. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. So here we go. Let's go with a Dragon Rage attack. I'm pretty sure it's not much of a... Not more than 40 HP right there. Look at that. Taking care of business. Okay. And it's experience points for all of us. And, uh, well, it's going to be coming out with a Mawile. So I, it's perfect Pokemon for my Vesuvia. So I'm going to switch out right here. 
Alrighty. Okay. Let's do it. Mount Vesuvius. That's right. You're going to be the mountain of a Pokemon one day right here. And there is Mawile using his Intimidate. Ah, oh, crud. And, uh, well, let's hope this Flame Burst will actually work. But here comes a Vice Grip. And, good God. Well, that if, if there was anything wrong with this Pokemon, it would be that, yeah, it... It, uh, yeah. Yeah, its defense sucks. So, it takes away defense for all that strength that it has. It has all them strength, but no defense right there. And uh, here we go, Thunder. Thunder Fang, and, uh, why are you, okay. Why are you trying to lower my, de my, my evasiveness if I don't do anything like that? So, here we go, another Thunder Fang. Come on. Let's get this. Thunder Fang nearly takes this guy out, and here comes that fake tears attack. Come on, bro. Okay, alrighty. So let's go with another Thunderfang right here. And it, eva it evades that. And here comes another Vice Grip. Now, I'm going to do another one right here. Let's get this. There we go. And uh, that is how you take care of that right there. Look at that. 19 minutes, and I'm kicking ass right now. Look at that. Fairy Tail Girl defeated. And yeah, I completely forgot that Mawile is also a fairy type Pokemon. Yes, I am a strong trainer. Okay, so none of that. And uh, let's move on right here. I'm actually going to grab those later on. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I just realized something and uh, kind of want to take care of it. So we're going to stop right here, heal up our Pokemon, do a little bit of something something on the side, and then uh, we'll be back in the next episode to explore the rest of this route. Route 112 and all that crud, and uh, get into Fall Arbor Town. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.